Hello, welcome to the Stockyard Industrial League. Today I just wanted to take uh, some time and show you a little video on how I set up the momentum on my locomotives and how I do it in JMRI and then also show you how the momentum works on the proto throttle. Um, so I use um, Soundtracks uh, decoders in my locomotives. Um, the one that I'll show you today is an Ekonami, but I also have Tsunami 2s and the momentum function works really good for kind of slowing down the acceleration and deceleration and I'll show you how the proto throttle works really well with the brake function to help control that. So first we'll go set it up on the computer. And as I mentioned, I use the uh, JMRI Decoder Pro. Okay, see if you can see that in there. And I'll show you Bring this a little bit closer. Okay. There we go. So, I'm going to be adjusting the B23-7 today. And I'm getting my locomotive set up for my next stop session. I used to, I've, I've always used momentum in these locomotives. But I've had it turned down a little bit so it's easier to control. But now with the proto throttle, you have a little bit more control, which I'll show you. And so I've been playing around with the, the functions. So what we want to do is adjust CV3 and 4, which are these two right here. And that's the acceleration and deceleration. I've currently got it at 200, which I think is a little too high. And so I'm going to try turning it down actually to 75. Um... I just realized this is the Jeep 38-2. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Okay. And just close. And then um, I also forgot to select programming on the main, which is what I usually do. Here's the B23-7, which is 4627. I picked the wrong Missouri Pacific locomotive. Go to CVs. There. So I've got them set currently at, at 100. I tried 200. I think the highest is like 230, 250, something like that. And um, I understand that with the soundtracks decoders, uh, it's it, the momentum is a little bit slower than on some other decoders like Loxound. So I'm going to try 75 and see if that works a little bit better. So hit right, hit right changes on sheet. All right, and it should be programmed. So now we'll we'll give it a test. So let's go over to the locomotive here. <clears throat> and we're gonna practice switching an in industry to give it a really good good test. Okay, so there's our B23-7 there. We've already got it acquired here in the proto throttle. See the locomotive number is up there, 4627. Got the air horn. So what I'm going to, to work with is the brake handle right here. Um, and what I really like about it is that if you slide it all the way to the right, the full brake will come on. So if you're about to hit something, say you're getting too close to a freight car or too close to the industry, uh, that'll cause it to go on all the way. And so it's just like an emergency stop. So that's pretty cool. And I, my throttles didn't have that before, so I was always worried about setting the momentum too high uh, because I didn't want um, any operators who weren't used to momentum coming over and operating on the layout and then uh, basically complaining because, you know, my train keeps running away from me. So, so this should solve that issue. All right, so let's check it out. Um, since we did the emergency brake, the sound turned off, so we'll get it started again. So we're going to pick up that box car back there. Let's see. All right, there we go. So you see a very pretty slow acceleration. I'm just in this first notch. I'll increase it maybe up to four. It slowly builds. Oops, I hit the automatic grade crossing sound. All right, so now I'm going to slide it all the way down, and, it's, and then apply the brake. So you can see it's stopping pretty good. 
Um, I'm gonna hit the emergency now because I don't want it to go to the go to the street. I probably had it going a little too fast for that yard move, so let's try a little bit slower move. Okay. Again, I you know turned off because I had it on emergency. Okay, so here's what it's doing now. I've got it in uh, the second notch there. Go in the other direction. I forget to flip the switch. Okay, now I need to start turning it down, apply the brake. That's pretty good. Turn the brake off. Now I've got it notch one. I'm just going to let it coast a little bit. I'll turn it down the notch off. Notch one. The brake. Okay, that, that looked pretty good. Connect my air hoses. And now we're ready to go switch a customer. I've got it notch three. I'm going to turn it down to one for this crossing. Start applying the brake. So at this crossing, the crew has to set the traffic signal. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Okay. And so we're going to set it to rail traffic. Okay, I've got it notch two now. And now I'm going to switch it to zero and let it coast. Back to one. I think this is a pretty good setting. Again, I don't want it to be set too high for operators who aren't used to momentum. And so I think this is a good one for the op session. Okay, we'll flip the switch. Remove the blue flag for the customer. We're going to grab that reefer and just replace it with the other one. Yeah, of course that would happen when I'm making the video. Alright, now, break. Okay. That time I had to use the emergency. A little, little distracting. I just have it match two right now. And throw that off. Maybe match one just to get us through. Get me through the switch. That will break. Reverse. I'm a notch three right now. Turn it down to two. 
Let's drop this free for right here. We'll just let it coast until it stops. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I've got it match two again. This seems to be a pretty good speed for switching. It doesn't get you going too fast, and it's good for the brake. And now we'll turn it off, start the brake. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good speed. Um, these old Acura box cars, not the best cars. And once again, I got distracted there. Hey, not bad. Perfect. Okay. I'll drop our car right here for the customer. I think. Something is wrong with that turnout. This is always fun to have this stuff show up in a video. So I'm going to notch two again, and turn it off, and start the brake. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a little too fast that time. Okay, so before we leave, we'll switch the signal back to the auto traffic, and then we can head back to our yard. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to show you, just how um, how that works. So again, using the proto throttle here, we did um, you know notch two most of the time seemed to work pretty good, but then a little bit of brake, and only had to use the, the emergency stop a couple of times. Didn't have to do it too often as I got the hang of it. Um, so I think we're at a good momentum speed for uh, the op session. So. I'll go ahead and program my other three locomotives this way, so whichever one we end up using for the session uh, next week, uh, we'll be all set to go. So, okay. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time here on the Stockyard Industrial League with another video.